never go home. So what happens mm-hmm. here is, especially the ones that's in the consciousness, you say, well, I know people that, you know, go to stay home, and they they rich and stuff like that. No, we're talking about you particular people that's in a certain amount of consciousness. If you're on a certain initiation, you can't get off the path. You see right. what I'm saying? Yeah. So you can never go home. So what happens here is, Whenever you go across the bridge and you and you completed that cycle, then what happens here is that bridge disappears from behind you. And where you are will set up an atmosphere conducive for you to can still continue to grow spiritually, metaphysically. So what happened was when I went back in when I went back because I had because what happened was is that I hadn't gone back to Mullins in ten years because my mother she before she passed she was come up she would come up to Atlanta from South Carolina and stay two months stay a month stay a couple of weeks and she did that for ten years so it was wasn't no need for me to go back down to Mullins for the simple fact here is the simple fact was um you see because so because she started coming up there so as a result. I hadn't gone there from, from 1996 was the last time I was there until 2006 when I went back for the celebration. And as a result, what had happened was we went into a dimension that was not there anymore. Now, I need you to pay close attention. Like I say again, do not get into the entertainment part of this. You must listen to what I'm saying. Good, you can rewind this stuff because this has a lot to do with what is going on. Right, so right. when I got sick, it was it was it was it was uh, uh because I had gone back and dwelled for a couple of hours in a dimension that's not there. Remember, all this is an illusion. It's called illusion, or it's called Maya, and it's also called glamour. We'll get into that in a few minutes. Now, okay. so when I was dwelling in that dimension. For a couple of hours for my mother's celebration, and we left and got on the road to come back to Atlanta. The next day, for some reason, because I had gone into a dimension that didn't exist, it must have took all of my energy. You understand what I'm saying? The, it, my energy to go down to that particular level of people that can be there. The only people that can live there is dead people. So as one mm-hmm. sister one time, she made the observation. He's conscious sister. She made the observation. She said, well, I went home to Chicago to my parents. She's a conscious sister. This was maybe about 10, 15, about 10, 12 years ago. Uh, she said, I went home to Chicago for, for, the, for the Christmas holidays for my, for, with my parents. And she said, what I had to do, and all my surroundings that weren't conscious, I had to suspend my consciousness and where I was and go back in that dead world. I literally had to die to be amongst them. That's why you don't go and try to teach them nothing. Let the dead lie with the dead. So it was the same concept of that particular town that wasn't there anymore. So what happened recently? What started in a little small town of 6,000 people? Well, it's less than that now because a lot of people moved away. So let's say uh, 4,000 people. When I, went to, when I went to Columbia, South Carolina, where I went to school, Benedict College, and where I used to live before I came to Atlanta, when I went back to Columbia, South Carolina, which I've been going there, I used to go every year or every two times a year for 15 years to do lectures because that's the bigger city in South Carolina. When I went back to Columbia last weekend and I dwelled, did the lecture, got to the hotel that night, spent the night and got back on the road and got back on the road and came back. When I went to Columbia, South Carolina, by that Wednesday, I started violently coming down with some type of virus, and I started getting sick again. Mm. And so Linda reminded me, hey, you remember you went to South Carolina in 06, and the same thing happened? And it's interesting here because her mother died in 07. Right before her mother died, we went to D.C. I had a lecture in Baltimore. Linda's from D.C. had a lecture in Baltimore. We went, right. we, uh, went after the election, we stayed a couple of days in Maryland where her mother um, uh, um, um, was from. And we stayed a couple of days, and later on she made a transition the next year. But after coming back in 06, we came back from D.C., we both got violently sick because that was where she was from. You see what I'm saying? So the point I'm trying to make right. here is, now what is happening? What had happened in Mullins, the little small town that had disappeared from years ago, 
is starting to happen in the bigger cities. Columbia being a bigger city, as a result, is starting to die. It's starting to die. That's very key because this is an Indian mythology of the triple cities starting to be destroyed. So let me explain to people what's actually going on. What's actually going on. Yes, yes. This is nothing but an illusion. It's called Maya. It's an illusion. And this illusion is sustained by something that is called glamour. So glamour is what the, the glamour is what makes this illusion, it makes this illusion function. So glamour is what the ego taps into, and it taps into, and when the ego taps into this glamour, it makes this illusionary world that we live in possible to live in based on this glamour. So what it does, it takes something that is nothing, something that is an illusion. And the glamour aspect of that particular illusion, because illusion is called Maya, the glamour aspect of that illusion, what it does, it makes things appealing to the ego that sustains and keeps you locked into this illusion based on glamour. Uh, based, based on glamour. I'll read a couple of things on what this glamour is in a few seconds. But the point I'm trying to make here is this. This is what's happening. This illusion, because we live in a world, it's the same that Matrix explained it to you when he said you've been living in a dream world. Yeah. You've been living in a dream world. Now, what happens here is because there really is no physical world, it's only basically what the brain is telling you it is, but the brain is being activated through glamour. And glamour is any kind of appealing thing that's visual, emotional, and psychological. And as a result, it makes this appear to be real. So what has happened here is, when I went back to South Carolina, I went into a world that actually is not there anymore. What is happening here is the worlds are disappearing it's just that the glamour is still keeping this thing, keeping this thing in an apparent state that really doesn't exist. So what I was feeling the other day with the particular glamour, I was just feeling the other day, um, um, excuse me, was in actuality I had gone into a zone outside of my area of comfort or my area of spiritual because my whole house and my world is set up spiritually. So when I went back to South Carolina, that world is actually disappearing. And all it was was illusionary phenomenon that I was dwelling in for a couple of hours. And as a result, my spirit had to go back down to a dead state just to exist there for a couple of hours. And as a result, that's when it caught up to me, that's when I started coming down. Because I had to fight all day. I, I you know, I, I go to war with shit, you know, to 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 to, to make sure that I'm I'm healthy. But nevertheless, this is what has happened. These dimensions are changing, and they're disappearing. So what's getting ready to happen? When I first started off, I said it takes a while for stuff to completely manifest into the physical. But if yeah. these towns these things are disappearing, then what's going to happen, it's going to, like they say, the twinkling of an eye is going to catch up with the spirit, or with the physical world, and they say, midday, midday one day, this shit is just going to disappear. And we're on the cusp of that because the simple fact, we have the army, we have the spirits now that is gaining uh, control, gaining control because mm -hmm. of they were they were able to exit the bodies in an abrupt fashion, i.e. Haiti, Katrina, uh -huh. Rwanda. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? The tsunami. Yeah. And as a result, their energies are actually destroying what they call the triple cities of the demons. Now, so so uh, of the demons, uh, the triple cities. So now, what what is what does what does it all mean? The demon is nothing but the higher is is the one's own genius. So what is happening here right now is in any relationship that you are having that is not going right with right. a person, 
that you are dealing with, you are creating that uh, uh, 